Man becomes second person ever to be cured of autoimmune disease. What's up, Bacon Army, and welcome to Inform Overload. I'm your information overlord, Johnny Rogers, and if you're new to the channel, we find the most interesting news stories on the internet, and then we make them more entertaining. But for real, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button because we post new content all the time. Plus, don't forget to stick around to the end because I will be answering some of your comments from previous videos. For the second time in history, a patient was deemed free of HIV after receiving stem cell therapy. This massive breakthrough has proven that the first case was not just a one-off, but a way forward in the medical advancements for future patients. The stem cell transplant was done to replace the patient's white blood cells with HIV resistant versions, and it's being reported that this method has actually cleared the virus as a result. Researchers are saying that it is still far too early to shout from the mountaintop that this autoimmune disease has finally been cured, but they're hopeful to say the least. The patient was even able to stop taking their previous medications for this disease with zero signs of the virus popping back up. The first case that this method worked was nearly a decade ago on Timothy Ray Brown, also known as the Berlin patient, who still to this day is free of the virus. This latest use of stem cell therapy is showing a response very similar to that of the Berlin patient. Andrew Friedman, a clinical infectious disease physician at Cardiff University said, there there's good reason to hope that it will have the same result. Much like Timothy Brown, this patient had a similar form of blood cancer that wasn't responding to chemotherapy. Both patients required a bone marrow transplant from a healthy donor to destroy their blood cells and replenish them with stem cells. However, it wasn't as simple as just locating a healthy donor. The infectious disease physicians at the University of Cambridge, led by Ravindra Gupta, needed to find a donor that had two copies of a mutation in the CCR5 gene that acts as a resistance to the HIV infection. This receptor happens to sit on the surface of white blood cells that act in the body's immune response. In most cases, the HIV infection will attach to these receptors and attack the cells. However, when you eliminate the CCR5 gene, you also stop the receptors from working properly. Approximately 1% of people with European descent have two copies of this mutation that are resistant to HIV. And upon discovering this, Gupta and his team discovered that the virus had completely vanished from the patient's blood. And at 16 months post-operation, the patient was able to stop taking antiretroviral drugs, and during the latest follow-up at 18 months of no standard treatment, there was still no sign of the virus. At this point, as I mentioned, it's still too early to tell if this is indeed a cure, but Gupta believes that first the patient's blood needs to remain free of HIV for much longer before they can confirm anything. Although things are getting better in regards to what will become the standard process for this treatment. In the first scenario, they were much more aggressive with treatment, but the second patient received a newer regimen that still worked. They were given chemotherapy along with a drug that attacks cancerous cells without the radiotherapy that Brown had to go through. This means that it's possible the stem cell transplant was ultimately all the patient needed and that pairing it with aggressive treatments might not be necessary. Gupta said in a statement, the radiation really does knock the bone marrow and make you very sick. So taking that out of the equation could make the usual severe side effects much less. I want to hear your thoughts on this story though, so comment down below with what you think about this finding of a possible new cure for HIV. Now let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Strange Unexplained Tracks Discovered at the Bottom of Belize's Great Blue Hole. The Deshaun Allen says, guess the Loch Ness Monster found a new home. I think it's Big Chungus. Ashley Brown says, and people ask me why I don't go near water. Yeah, there's nothing scarier than not knowing what exactly is below you while swimming. Andrew says, what if I want to be a potato with bacon bits? I suppose we can allow that. Just Chill for Life says, Bacon and potatoes go well together. The bacon and potato kingdoms have formed an alliance. Considering we're going to try to do more videos together, I'd say some harmony has been found between the two kingdoms. For now, that is. Lainey Durbin says, So if Charlotte is the potato queen and Johnny is the bacon king, then what's Rebecca? Uh, sour cream queen? Cheese queen? Chive queen? Cheese queen! Cheese queen! Put something down in the comments. But say it's a joke, because I don't think she'll like that. <laughs> she'll love it? She said it herself. She said she's the cheese queen. Confirmed by Charlotte, she is the cheese queen. Rainbow Lollipop says, Can you please give a shout out to my sister Moxie? It would absolutely make her day. Hey Moxie, here's your shout out, and I hope you're having a stellar day. Thank you for watching Inform Overload. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want any more videos like this one, all you gotta do is click that playlist on the side of the screen. Plus, if you find any new stories that you want us to cover, look for my Instagram down below in the description. Send me a DM, and if we like it, you may just see your story on our channel. From Inform Overload, I'm John. Johnny Rogers, and until next time, take care.